And now if we scroll down right here, you'll notice there is an online store. And depending on what type of site you went and created, you might not have this right here. So if you're not creating a store, that's all right. You can go and just skip this section. But if you do, we're going to go and start adding a few things. So you can either go to import products or add products. We're going to click on this green add products button. And then that's going to bring up this add product page. And this is where you're going to go and add any products that you have. And so if you have a physical product, you're just going to keep this one selected. Or if you have something digital like downloadable content, you can go with this one right here. I'm going to keep it on the physical and then we're going to add our product name. And once you're done adding the product name, you can go and add your own image. So if you click on add image here, you're just going to go and you can either drag it in or you can just upload it by clicking add images. And then after your image has been uploaded, you can just click on insert. And there's the image right there. Now we're going to go down here to where it says price and you guys can determine what price you want. And then you can add a sale price if you want to. So like it says right here, sale price displays in your storefront with the original price crossed out. So maybe we want to put this to $15. And so it'll have this 20 crossed out here and it'll show 15. That could help increase conversions possibly. And then if we go down here to product category, if you want to put it in a specific category, you can click add there and create those. And then here's the SKU option right here, stock keeping unit. I'm just going to keep that as default as it shows up there. Tax category, you can choose whatever you want to be there. And then visible in my store, yes. And then this is where you're going to write some information about whatever is whatever your product is. And then after you've added some details there to your description, you can go and move over here to inventory and options. And you can configure these settings right here based on whatever you'd like to do. I'm just going to leave these as the defaults right here. And then if you go down right here to create option, this is where you can go and create different colors and then you can create different sizes here. So I'll just click on size. And then once you've added your sizes right there, you can click on done. And if you want to go back to and add more, like create a color option possibly, you can do that. And then once you do that, you can scroll down here and click on done. So now you have your sizes and your colors there. And you'll notice down here that it has all those different varieties that you just created. Then if you go over here to shipping, you can choose what you want to do for shipping. I'm actually going to go and click on this item always ships for free. And click on save. And that shirt right here is added right there. And then just like the other features that I showed you earlier, it's kind of the same thing. You can choose what you want right here for your accent to be. And down here, if you want to switch this feature products right there, you can get rid of that and you can switch it to something different. You can choose whether you want to show the product price and also the action link. You can edit that right there. And then when you're done with that, you can just click on done. Now you guys can go and add as many products as you want. You're just going to have to do them individually. But that'll just sort of give you a basic idea of what you need to do to set that up.